Hey guys, what's going on? Genebris here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going over the Badline Client 2.2 change log. Now, Badline Client 2.2 was released last night, very late at night, and this is basically the next next big step forward for Badline Client. If you don't use Badline Client, I recommend you go use it because it has all your mods already pre-built. You don't have to deal with anything. Like when you switch between versions 1.7 and 1.8, you don't need to switch out your mods. It's a great thing. It prevents cheaters if you're on a server with back. Anyway, uh, we're going to go over the, some of these patch notes because there is something that they added which, you know, would probably be pretty significant. And that is the fact that they're now going to be doing automatic bans for certain cheats. Not every cheat, but certain cheats. Now, what does this mean? Well, in the past, you've uh, basically, you basically know already that Badline Client would not automatically ban people if they were cheating on Badline Client. But now they're going to be banning certain cheats very quickly and this is probably going to be the lower level cheats kind of the cheats that aren't trying to bypass much on the anti-cheat side the ones that are kind of just running an auto clicker or something like that so those are going to be banned instantly which means that better experience for everyone else and i mean if, if hypixel ends up implementing this for rank skywars for example blatant cheaters who try to inject would probably just get instantly banned most likely and they wouldn't be able to really fly around or anything i mean most likely um but Anyway, new features, HWID bans now only for back servers. We have basically HWID bans are only going to be um, banning people from joining back servers, I believe. So they can use they can use Badline Client to play Minecraft if they're HWID banned, but they cannot do it. Uh, they cannot use, join servers if they're HWID banned. Um, which I I mean, fair enough. I mean, I would prefer them to ban them. I, I, I would prefer if Badline Client banned them entirely from using the client, but apparently that's not the case. I guess it's okay. Um, so we still highly frown upon cheating as a whole, and we hope that players slowly switch over to Badline Client and stop, cheaters, stop cheating as a whole. We also hope that more servers will continue to install back on the servers and provide their players a better anti-cheat experience. We also got a resource pack organizer, which is very, very good looking, if you guys see this right here. Uh, this is a this is it right here. Now, if you guys remember, I made the resource, or I got someone to make the original resource pack organizer back in 2016. Now, obviously, I didn't code it, but I had the idea for it. I probably was not the first person, but I think I was the first person to get it done in a Forge mod. Anyway, this looks very good, in my opinion. Uh, we got some FPS improvements. Clan Wars mod, that's probably for Gomi and stuff. A redesigned Keystrokes mod, so there's a bunch of different... Uh, things you can do with Keystrokes mod now, redesigned armor status, redesigned FPS CPS mods, potion status cleanup, auto text mod, uh, snap mods together so you can kind of individually move different modules to, uh, together and apart. See that right there? You can like drag, uh, for example, if you wanted the helmet and the chest plate on one side of the hotbar and then the leggings and boots on the other side of the hotbar, you could also do that. So that's great. Uh, ping and tab list. This is something that people wanted a lot. And uh, this is something that's in vanilla enhancements, which I personally use, and I'm glad that they added this. Um, direction mod, classic compass, and here we go, automatic bands. So Starting today, we'll, we will have certain cheats automatically banned as soon as we detect them. The number of cheats in the automatic ban database will start off small and grow over time. We want users to enjoy a cheater-free environment, and we'll strive to help provide that to the Minecraft community. The reason we have not done automatic bans up until this point is to not allow cheat developers the ability to reverse engineer the anti-cheat systems. There will still be somewhat regular ban waves in addition to the automatic bans in order to catch other the other cheats that we do not automatically ban for. So basically, they're bas they're pretty much going to be banning for cheats which are obvious and aren't trying to bypass their systems very much. But for the cheats that are trying to bypass their systems, they're obviously not going to ban them immediately like they've done with Cheat Sheet and other uh, uh, in the past with Badline. Anyway, yeah, so excited for this. Hopefully, this will probably... Hopefully, the, this will give more people more incentive to start using the client and... Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this automatic ban system and the resource pack organizer is so freaking nice. All right. Anyway, see you guys later. Peace out.